Hello, Francisco. Can you listen to me? Hello, good evening. Yes. Good I... evening. Good. Hello, Andrea. Ileana, welcome. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Adriana Gritel. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Jennifer, Glendy. Good evening. Good evening, Mayra. Glendy Flores. Good evening. Luisa, welcome back. Okay. I can see Miguel now. Catherine, hello, Catherine. Hello. Good evening. So, uh, are you ready to start a new a new class? Hello, Eliana. Can you listen to me clearly, people? Good evening, everyone. Hello, Miguel. Good evening. Okay, now, uh, well, we have uh, some activities for tonight. And uh, I think we will continue talking about describing people, right? Describing right. people. Yesterday we started with uh, some vocabulary, okay, to uh, describe people. Okay, I, I wonder if you remember about some vocabulary, Francisco. Excuse me, repeat, please. Uh, do you remember about vocabulary we started yesterday? Oh, uh, yes. Um, the description for the people. Um, Oh, the old vocabulary or the conversation? No, I mean the vocabulary. Ah, the long, the hair, age, height. Uh, I remember the, the hair, uh, the short, blonde, curly, bald, mustache, and beard, and age, and are young, middle age, elderly. And looks handsome, good looking, pretty. And hey, I remember sure, um, pretty, pretty tall, very tall. Thank you. Do you remember a lot of vocabulary? That was really nice. Uh, let me see. Uh, yesterday also, we, we saw uh, the word power, right? So the information that, um, Francisco is just is sharing with us tonight. This is what we learned by heart, right? So what power about opinions and also we saw a, or, or we hear the, the conversation, okay, about uh, these two people, right? And I told you to memorize the conversation. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, now yeah. did, could could you memorize the, the the conversation, people? We are gonna see it in a minute. Okay, we'll stop sharing, and I will ask. Okay, the two people in the conversation are Emily and Randy, right? Right. Okay. Yes. Uh, Francisco and Luisa. Francisco, Randy, you would play the role for Randy. And Luisa, then you are going to uh, perform the part of the of Emily, right? Right. Okay. So let us start at one, at two, and at three. Are you have are hey you have a new girlfriend, Randy? Uh yes, uh his name Ashley. Um she She's gorgeous, gorgeous. Really? What does she, what does she look like? Well, uh, she's very tall. How tall? Mm, uh, about six feet, 
62, uh, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What what as what what is color is here hair? Oh, perdón. Uh, she has a beautiful red hair. And how, and how old is she? Uh, I don't know. She want she the one told me. That was it? Yes, Finns. Okay, okay, that was fantastic. Okay, that was really nice. Uh, was it difficult for you to memorize the conversation? For me, yes. <laughs> okay, so no it, it was no much, no not... much for se pone nervioso uno a la hora. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that, Luisa, but I, I could I could notice that you were practicing. Sí. Okay, I could notice about it. Okay, so congrats. Congratulations for doing your best effort. Now, uh, Jonathan and Mayra, I want to listen to you. Okay. I hear you. Uh, now I could not memorize the conversation. Teacher. Are you good? Sorry. Eh? See, I, I was work uh, all day. Only can co complete one homework. Eh, ok, so you wish the, the other you... one, yes. Eh, puedo leer, pero no okay. lo memorice. Ok, Jonathan. Sí. We will try with another person, ok? Thank you, okay. Jonathan. And later you are going to share the, the next part of the, of the homework, ok? Mayra and David, Dean. David, are you there? David Alonso? Ok. Mayra yeah. and David Alonso, okay? Now, this is your opportunity. Teacher, but I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't study. Have you didn't study? No, teacher, I didn't have enough time to are study. You didn't? Yeah, I know that you are very busy people, okay? But let us try with, the, let's see if Hiroki, Hiroki, could you memorize the info? Hiroki and Mayra. No, then. no teacher, no memorize. You couldn't. But I, I learned. You, you didn't memorize the conversation, Hiroki. No, no, no. Uh, okay, let, let us try. Because I told you to memorize the whole conversation, right? So let's see. Mayra and Ileana. Ileana, you start with um, playing the role for Emily. And Mayra, uh, you will be Randy. Okay, teacher. Um, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley. And she's gorgeous. Uh, really? Uh, what does she look like? Um... Well, she's very tall. Uh, how tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What uh, color is her hair? She has a beautiful red hair. hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She's she won't tell me. That was it? So, yes. <laughs> Good. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Okay, you learned it by heart. Okay, quite cool. Let's try with Claudia and Jancy. Uh, Jancy, you start. I couldn't uh, memorize, teacher. Okay, but Claudia, are you ready, Claudia? Okay, Jancy. Okay. Claudia and Carla, then. Claudia, you start. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's dangerous. Really? 
was does she look like? Well, she is very tall. How tall? About six feet, feet two, uh, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her her hair? She has a red. She has beautiful red hair. In whole, in whole, all is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, thank you. That was quite good. Thank you very much. Okay, Carla, Tatiana, are you ready? Yes, but real. I don't memorize it, the homework, the conversation. You, you couldn't. You, you didn't have enough time. Mm, I don't understand. No, okay, okay, so if you couldn't, okay, there's no any problem, okay? But let me see. Let, let me see if there are some people who, who memorize the conversation. Glendy? In Adriana Gretel. Here. <clears throat> are you ready, Adriana? Yes. Glendy, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so here we go. Glendy, you start. I hear you had a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley and she's gorgeous. Um, really? What does she look like? Well, she is very tall. How tall? And about six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. And what color is her hair? She has a beautiful red hair. And how old is she? Mm, I don't know. She she won't tell me. Quite good. Fantastic. Excellent. Let me see. Miguel Portillo. And who, who, who else is missing? Jennifer, right? Jennifer Raquel. Yes. Okay. Okay, you start. Let me see. M um, Jennifer, you start. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name is... Her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she like? Like, I'm sorry. What does she lo look like? She's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has a beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. That's it. She won't tell me. Okay, now uh, one question. Now, do you think that's meaningful? This 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 kind of activity? I, I mean, it's because I won't ask you to memorize every single conversation because that I know that, that that doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. But Yesterday, I noticed that you had to put into practice the vocabulary. Okay, now that you know about it quiet, well, we're going to listen to it a last time. And we're going to notice about the pronunciation that you learned. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I, I, think, I think you are going to dream with this conversation, right? Because you have been like repeating all the time. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Brandy. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Brandy. Okay, so you, you were like repeating uh, the conversation a lot of times. Listen. Tell me. Give me one second. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. 
I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Wow. That okay, now I, I want to be sure about some words that we started to notice. Yet. How do you pronounce this verb, people? Here. Here. I hear yeah. you have a new girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, it, it is not gear, gear friend. No, it is gir, girlfriend. Girl. Girlfriend. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend. 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 Randy. Girlfriend. Now, when you have contracted form, you have to pronounce it that way, right? Her names. Her names. Her names Ashley. Her names Ashley. And she's she's gorgeous. She's oh, gorgeous. gorgeous. All right, gorgeous. I think this word you will never forget about this word. Now, what is the question to us uh, to provide information regarding to physical appearance, people? What does she look like? What does she look like? What does she look like? So that's the one, right? What does she look like? What does she look like? Now, you know, you perfectly know about what's the question all about. Well, she is very tall. How tall? About six feet. Two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She is she has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? Okay. Now notice that when the when Emily says, and how old is she? She doesn't say it that way, right? And how old is she? No. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, I hope that this, this activity uh, could help you, okay? So, because the more you practice, the more you learn. I have told you in the past, right? So, let us go over the next exercise. Well, actually, you are, you are in charge of describing a person you admire, right? But before going to that activity, we are going to see what we have here. Okay, just let me know if you can listen to the to the to the video, people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with hair with red hair. She's gorgeous. General appearance. Does she wear glasses? Now, this is a little bit um, specific, right? Okay, age, height, and hair. Same info as we were like practicing yesterday, but we're gonna um, see more information about. Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. 
For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. All right, so that's the information we have so far. Okay, we're gonna go over the next part to see what's going on with the following exercise. So to describe people, you know, we have different adjectives. Yesterday we studied about physical appearance and you have a, a homework, okay? about describing a person you admire. Okay, we are going to have a, this knowledge check activity. And we're going to have like, like the question, right? Instructions, write questions to match the statements. My boyfriend, uh, my brother, sorry, is 26 year old. What is the question? Brother. How old, how old is your brother? Can, can, could, can you please type it in the chat so that I can copy and paste it here? I need to see it in the chat, people. Number one, my brother is 26 years old. Okay, that's fantastic. I will take only one. Jonathan's example. This is first. Okay, just remember that you need to type a capital letter at the beginning. Is that correct, people? How is your brother? My brother is 26 years old. Yes. All right. Number two, I'm 173 centimeters. What's the question? Type it in the in the chat, please. Oh. I got the bees. How tall are you? Okay, so we will check it later. Number three. What is your size, Carla? Or how tall are you? We will notice, we will, we will see the answer, okay? In the number three, he's tall and very good looking. Ah, Francisco, I think Francisco got it. And also Glendy. Okay, I will take Glendy's example or Glendy's answer. What does it look like in the question mark, right? Number four, my sister's hair is medium length. What is the question for this part? How is your sister say? Mm. Is that is there any other answer? How long is your sister hair? That's what. Okay, I will take uh, Myra's. Yes. Yeah, I will take your answer. Okay. How long is your sister say? Okay, number five, I am 40 years old. All right, very good. I can see that. How old are you? How old are you? They are nice, beautiful, and very tall.
Where is the question for number six? Okay, think of what do they look like? Okay, that, let's see if that is the one. What do they look like? Yes. Okay, number seven is 100, no, yeah, 180 centimeters. How tall is he? Okay. Okay, Francisco, we'll take yours. How tall is he? Good. Now we're gonna check. Okay, we will see the answers and we will notice if we did it in the right way. How is your brother? Okay. Good. Okay, over here we don't have the question mark because the question mark is over here, right? In the second one, how tall are you? How tall are you? Good. Number three, he's tall and very good looking. What does he look like? What does he look like? Or how does he look like? Okay, both are okay. What does he look like or how does he look like? Number four, how long is your sister's hair? Good. Number five, how old are you? Number six, what do they look like? Good. Or how do they look like? Or what are they like? Different options, right? And the last one, how tall is she? Uh, how tall is he? And he's 180 centimeters. That was fantastic, people. Okay, now, now that you that you are more than familiarized with the activity. Well, after after your participation, oh, because I don't have the audio over here. Give me one second. It's, uh, I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, uh, just by chance, did you get the audio, people? Let me see. Si tuvimos un problema con ese parte, teacher, porque el audio como que no está. Es la única parte que yo no he podido hacer. Okay, I remember I got the audio, but I, I forgot. Where did I get it? Give me one second, please. So you, you know what? Meanwhile, I'll try to solve this, the problem. Okay, so do me the favor to, uh, let us try to, to check the, the homework assignment about the person you admire. Okay, we will start with um, Hiroki, I think. Okay, Hiroki, uh, do me the favor to share the information you got about the person you admire. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. My favorite actor is Johnny Christopher Depp. My favorite movie is Pirates of the Caribbean. I like it so much. In the personality, um, and addiction to more that actor is musician, um, composer. He's big fans for the tattoo. 
he is born 2063, 1963, excuse me, and United States, Kentucky. And actually he has long brown hair. He has middle age. He, he is handsome, also medium height. Any? <laughs> Eso es. Fantastic. Thank you, Hiroki. Hey, good pronunciation. And I could notice that you investigated about the way to describe a person. Fantastic. Let me see. Now, Jonathan, I think you you told us to you could solve that part of the homework, right? Jonathan, are you ready? Good. Can you see the presentation? Yeah, we can we can see. Okay. Okay, the person uh, that I admire is Messi. I am wearing his t-shirt right now. Uh, first, who is Leo Messi? Leo Messi is a soccer player. He played in Barcelona team and currently he plays in Paris Saint-Germain uh, in, in France. Um, the last year he was the world champion with her, his team, Argentina. How does uh, Leo Messi look? Uh, he has a uh, white skin. He is a uh, medium weight. He has uh, a black uh, hair. And sometimes he, he have a, a mustache and beard. About his family, he was uh, born in Rosario, Argentina, and he's married with uh, his wife, and they have three sons. His career, he won titles uh, like La Liga Española, the Champion League, Champion League, sorry, uh, the Copa del Rey, and um, personally titles. Uh, he has uh, the Ballon d'Or in seven occasions, and the last week he he wins. He won the World Cup. His personality. He is a le leader. And he is an intelligent person who knows how to do things well. He is also quiet, um, a bit serious, but he is a good person who has often helped uh, people in net in his country, and only. Thank it's you all. very much. Thank you very much, Jonathan. So I can see that you are a, a fan, right? Yes. For, for Messi. Let me see. Um, Francisco, go ahead, please. Uh, okay. Um, I want to talk. Uh, for, uh, I want to talk. Um, my mother. Uh, my mother's name is uh, Anna. She's fairly short. Uh, she has short hair, how heavy hair, and she's elderly. She's a very strong woman. Uh, despite despite her age, um. His young age, she immigrated to the city to help his parents and brother 
Right now, she has uh, five grandsons. Um, she living alone only with the dogs because she don't wanna come live with me. Um, he, I look, she's a woman very pretty for me. Only. Okay, Francisco. Thank you very much. Hey, I was just looking for the audio and I couldn't get it. Okay, so if we cannot solve that exercise tonight, tonight we are gonna solve it tomorrow, okay? But I will try to get the, the audio, okay? Hey, Jansi, go ahead with your presentation, please. Okay. Uh, I am talking about Shakira. Uh, Shakira is a famous singer uh, and she is an excellent mother. She's a gen dangerous woman and is very friendly and a kind person. Uh, she, is uh, she is really pretty woman. Um, Shakira has long brown hair and she has beautiful brown almond eyes. She is 45 years old and she is short and thinks. Uh, Shakira, she is a Rolex. <laughs> Only that. <laughs> You got it, no? <laughs> She's a Rolex. <laughs> yes, I got it. We are a cash. Okay, that, that, that was quite good. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Okay, now we have Claudia. Claudia, I think Claudia will continue. Claudia Jocelyn, are you ready? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, my sister description. General appearance. My older sister is the best has been with my super me in everything I do. Ay, ay, lo siento. My sister is of average height. She has long curly brown hair, four lips and big brown eyes. She is a pretty middle a woman. She's she's an entrepreneur. She likes to invent new things because and spend time with her family only. Okay, thank you very much. The good description of your sister. Okay, now let us listen to Carla Tatiana. Okay, I talk about a uh, book child. She is a actress. Uh, can see the okay. Um, it's a little description. She was born on May 31, in 1965, in the United States, film, television, and theater actors. Her heyday was during the 80s, 80s and 90s. 
She is currently retired from the stage and lives a quiet life as a housewife. Only that. Thank you very much. Who is she? La de la Laguna Azul, ¿cierto? Well, you name. Sí, <laughs> ella es la actriz. Thank you very much, Carla. That was really good. And let me see, people who are missing. Luisa? After Luisa, Adriana Gretel? <clears throat> I admire my dad. My dad is tall, stocky man with brown hair and a mustache. He has, he has always been very hardworking, friendly, and an excellent father to me, only. That was quite good. Thank you, Luisa. Gretel? Okay, um, I describe my son, and he's two years old. He's um, 90 centimeters. He's short, brown hair, and he has clear skin. He has brown eyes, and his name is Gian. Okay. And he is very playful and curious. He is speaking a lot, very a little. He's very intelligent, boys, and, and he likes to, to eat a lot of snacks. And almost, he's very angry. <laughs> he's very angry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Now, who's missing? I think Andres Meralda, right? And Jennifer. David? David is missing also. Yes, teacher. Okay, David. You, you can continue, David. After David, Andrea, and uh, we're going to have Jennifer's presentation at the end. Okay, teacher. Um, the person I admire is Justin Bieber. He's a singer, and he was born in Canada. Uh, was born in 1994 and I admire this singer because he is incredible. Uh, he is, his, voice, his voice is incredible uh, since he was a kid. Um, his mother used to uh, record to him singing his favorite songs and she used to uh, upload uh, those records in YouTube. Uh, one day, a famous singer discovered the videos and got in touch with the mother, and Justin Bieber became famous quickly by his first song called Baby. And Justin Bieber, he is 19, uh, sorry, he is 29 years old. His physical form is athletic. He has long, honey color eyes, brown hair. He has bushy eyebrows. He has a mustache and he's tall and good looking. That's all teacher. Okay, thank you, David. That was quite good, thank you. Okay, Andres Meralda. Okay, teacher. Uh, my father, is the best person in the world because he is very responsible and lovely and a great example for us. He is a very studious with books and so um, 
he is a hard worker and his physical characteristics are in hair is regular. His hair is straight and black and he is very handsome. That's all. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Thank you a lot. And finally, we have Jennifer. Okay. Um, no sé si se logra ver. No, sorry, we cannot see it. Uh, now, yes, your husband, right? Okay, Um, my favorite person is my husband. Uh, physically, my husband is very short. Uh, he is very skinned. Um, he is middle age. Uh, he's a short hair and he has light eyes. But uh, what I admire about him is that he is very strong, loving man. Uh, he has a big heart and he is fond despite many things uh, that he has gone through. Uh, he keeps uh, going and does not give up, uh, give up so easily. That's up. Fantastic, quite good. Thank you very much. Okay, now I think that you even encountered some vocabulary that you that we didn't study during the class, right? That was one of the objectives, right? So that you can go over some extra information and get more vocabulary, pronunciation, and all the stuff. Okay, I will try to finish by sharing the information we are studying tomorrow. Okay. Meanwhile, you go over the platform and listen to this conversation. I will check the list of tenders, okay? Just try try to get uh, everything over here, okay? Try to identify because you are going to describe the people that are over here. You are going to describe the people over here in the picture, okay? They are talking about specific person. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's, where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anybody or anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her, okay? So, but you will see, you will try to, David, Yes, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, what does he mean when he says, oh, she couldn't make it? Hello, nice to have you back. In uh, okay, now listen, let us try to get it by context, okay? Because he said, hi, Raul, good to see you. Now, this is like the key. This is the key for you to get the meaning. Where's Maki? Where is she? And then Raul says, oh, she couldn't make it. She couldn't make it. How do you say that in different words, people? Is there anybody in the group who can tell us the meaning? But in English, please. Podria. Adriana, I'm sorry I couldn't get the audio, but I will continue looking for it. Don't worry, because tomorrow I hope we can solve that exercise. Okay, now, hey, but you listen, there is something that you also can learn um, about English. Cuando ustedes no sepan, digamos, el significado de algo, le, le voy a enseñar este, esto es con práctica, o sea, en realidad con la práctica, con um, a, aprender vocabulario, se va, se va este, solventando algunas cosas. Por ejemplo, dice, hi, Raúl, good to see you. Where's Maggie? Aquí está la clave. ¿A dónde está Maggie? Y luego le dice, oh, she couldn't make it. Literalmente dice, oh, ya no lo no, pudo no. hacer. Eso es lo que dice ahí literalmente. Pero, ¿en realidad significa eso? 
No, no pudo venir. Ah, no pudo venir, ¿ok? So, algunas veces no lo vamos a interpretar así literal como está, sino que vamos a ver el contexto, ¿ok? She couldn't make it. ¿Por qué no pudo venir? She went to a concert. Ah, she concert went. with Alex. With Alex. Okay, so that's one way for you to get a meaning of certain expressions, okay? Okay, listen, people, you know, we're like missing like seven minutes and I need to, to check the list of things. Me, while you study the vocabulary and, the, and everything related to this conversation, I will check the list of things, okay? Okay. Okay, Adriana Gretel. Here. Andrea Esmeralda. I saw Andrea. Is Andrea here? Andrea Esmeralda. Well, Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present. Gabriela Guadalupe. Glendy. Present. Eliana. Present teacher. Irving. I'm here. Okay, Hiroki. Jennifer. I'm here. Eh, Jonathan Vladimir. Here. Josué Miguel. Here. Carla Tatiana. Present. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerling. Nerling, are you here? I didn't see Nerling. And Jancy Jamilet. I am here. All right. So people who didn't, who did, who, who were not in, the, who, who were not in the class. Andres Meralda, Gabriela, and Nerling. Thank you. Okay. I, I couldn't, I don't know. Who didn't participate tonight in the class with um, with the presentation? Me. Okay, me. I, I knew there was one person. Miguel, okay, do me the favor to present the information you got, please. Okay. Uh, I'm going to describe my father. My father is... Um, He's friendly, polite, helpful, and, and generous. He's medium height. He's a little bit robust. He has a mustache, black eyes, and red hair, and brown skin. That's it, teacher. Okay, that was... <laughs> Really good. Hey, I wonder how long have you been classmates? ¿Cuánto tiempo han sido compañeros ustedes? About three or two weeks. Ah, oh, so you don't you don't know each other like uh, it, it only three weeks. But I can see I can uh, I can see that you that you have uh, become good friends, right? So uh, uh, you can describe uh, your, among yourselves, right? So for tomorrow, for tomorrow, uh, you will describe one of your classmates. Mañana van a describir a alguien de, de, la, uh, de la clase, pero sin decir el nombre, okay? Sin decir el nombre. Entonces van a decir características de un compañero o una compañera y, to y todos van a adivinar de quién se está hablando, ¿ok? Eso es para el día de mañana. Uh, let me see what else. 
Ah, quedo pendiente con el audio porque realmente no lo encontré. Yo me recordaba que había bajado ese, ese audio. Just give me one second. Quiero ver si lo guardé en una carpeta por acá. Y si no, de todas maneras, se lo, voy, voy a ver si lo encuentro y se lo comparto en el grupo. Thanks. Ok. And Thanks. let me see. We're going to finish by listening to the conversation for tomorrow because we are going to start with it, okay? Okay, it's over here, right? So we're going to see the video only once and I think it will be enough for tonight. Listen carefully. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, it's a, a very short conversation, but it's really nice uh, well since since you are going to continue um studying the conversation okay you are going to do the following right now the first activity is that you are going to describe one of your classmates without mentioning his or her name okay so that's the first activity second activity is that you are going to describe all the people over here, everybody, okay? All the people. And start thinking about, imagine about their personality, okay? Just imagine. Imagine and let us know about the way they, they, they are, but um, regarding to personality. That's why I'm asking you to imagine, okay? Now, for example, this guy over here, what, what could you say about him? How would you describe him? He is funny. He's short. Ah, He's okay. Fat. So now what tells you that he He's is funny? Chubby. He's chubby. He's funny. He's, uh, he is wearing jeans. He He's wearing shirt. jeans. He's wearing a he t-shirt. He has curly hair. He's oh, like okay. He has a curly hair. He wears glasses. He has glasses. Hair. Okay, so you see, we, we I chose only one, one person, right? So for, for tomorrow, you are going to let me uh, know about the way you describe every single person over here, okay? And that's it. I don't know if there is any question. It's okay for me. Oh, okay, no. no questions then. So I think that it's been enough for tonight. Hey, congrats, cause you know, for for for, cause you you've done all the activities tonight, and you have been practicing. You have been um participating actively in the class. That that's something amazing. Let us see tomorrow. And well, I have a homework, and that homework is to get the the audio, so that you can solve the activity about the listening. The listening activity. Let us see tomorrow, people. God, God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank see you, you, teacher. Good night, Good night everyone. Teacher. Good night. Bye.